Good evening and welcome to Back to School Night. As you see, we're doing things a little bit different this year, but I'm really glad that you're all taking the time to spend a few minutes watching this video so you can learn just a little bit more about preschool at Piner Valley Christian Academy. So I'm gonna bring you in the class and I am going to show you around, but I wanna remind you, every morning when you bring your child to school, there's three things they need to bring into the classroom. They need their folder, they need their water bottle, and they need their lunch bag. And mom and dad, feel free to come on in with them. You can help them get settled and help them wash their hands. So we start our morning every day with playtime. It's important that kids spend time every day playing, but also that they spend time, spend time moving, singing, creating, reading, and discussing. So after they have about an hour of play every morning, we come here to the group time rug and we start with group time. We start our morning by singing all of our classroom rules, which are up here. I won't sing them for you, but they go to the tune of the bus and we sing them every day. So your child should probably know them. We talk about whatever it is our theme is for the week. As you know, we teach thematically and this week we've been learning all about how God made us and how we're all different and how we're all part of God's family and our each individual family is different and unique too. So we have been learning each other's names up here on the board. We've been doing songs and rhymes about friends. Another thing that we do every day is we talk about the calendar. We have a linear calendar here, which we move our tag every day so we know how many days we've had in each month. Um, we put up special days up here so they know what to anticipate and what's coming. Another thing that we do up here on the rug is we have Bible time, and Bible time is the most important thing I tell the kids that we do every day. We're moving into the story about Noah. We spend about a week um, on each Bible story, and I really think it's so important for them to hear the story, for them to watch me retell the story with flannel graphs, and as well, I like them to try to act the story out. They really have a great time with that. So I wanted to just remind you before we move on to another part of the classroom that communication is key. And the best way to communicate with me is with the class tag app. I believe that everyone has it loaded onto their phone. And if you ever have any trouble um, uploading any of the information or things just don't seem to be working with the class tag app, please let me know because I don't want you to miss anything. Every Friday, I will send home a week in review. It's sort of talking points that you can use with your child. So you can hear about and talk to them about different things that we did that week. And I'll send some pictures home every week as well. Uh, don't forget, on Class Tag, there's also a direct messaging portion. So if you have a question for me, you can um, direct message me that question. But if you ever have an emergency and you need to get in touch with me immediately, feel free to call the school office. So let's take a look to see another part of our room. I'm gonna lead you over to our math and science center. Right now, we are working on building at this table. We have some great builders. So we are putting out different items that they can build with over here. Moving on later in the month, we'll be doing things with magnets and with different shapes over in this area as well. So here we are in the pretend center. Right now the pretend center is set up for our family life. We have our stove and our refrigerator and our dolls, but this will change throughout the year. As a matter of fact, later this month, we will have an apple investigation center over here. We have all kinds of apples that they can wash and they can weigh and they can measure. And we will make sure that there's lots of things here that they can use their senses to really investigate those apples. But later in the year, we'll be moving on and we'll have this set up as a grocery store or a bakery, a pizza shop, an ice cream shop. So this is always changing this small section of the room. Over here, we have our block center. So we have different blocks and right now the kids are really into the Duplo blocks and we want them again to be building and connecting and talking to one, and one another as they use this table and interacting with each other. 
It's so important at this age that they are interacting and making friends. That's like the most important thing that we do in preschool is learn to take turns, learn to share, and learn to use conflict resolution. So I'm gonna take you over here now to our table that we use during learning centers for a teacher-directed activity. Learning centers is a part of our day, about 45 minutes to an hour each day, and the classroom is set up with different teacher-directed activities. So this activity is just simply a bingo game. Sometimes when we're over here, we do writing journals. It's always a small group working with one of their teachers. Over here is our art center. So we have a variety of things that we do in our art center. We do a mix of process and product art. Mostly we focus on the process where kids are just using different implements and they are using different um, mediums to create. Occasionally you'll sing, see things come home that look like they were um, teacher directed and more product oriented because we think that's important too that if they're going to make a mouse that they'll have all the parts of a mouse and in the end it will resemble a mouse. We do a pretty good mix of both with process being a little bit stronger. We also do a lot of sensory play at school and with the protocols that we have in place during COVID we're very careful that children are using their own items and typically sensory items are shared in a large tub or table. But we have separate bins of sand, we also have separate Play-Doh for each child, so they're still getting to experience that sensory play um, in a safe way. So if we move over here, I have one more spot I'm gonna show you, and it is our writing center. So every child has their own bin of writing instruments, that they use and they can come over to the writing center anytime and they can pick something off the shelf that they would like to do. They can use stickers, they can color, they can use tracers. This is just another way to have some really fun process art activities for the kids to engage in. So another quick reminder, a few quick reminders before I'm through is I just want to thank everyone for sending their kids here to PVCA. Our numbers are smaller this year, so your children are getting a lot of individualized attention from me. If your child goes part-time, I want you to think about whether there might be another day or two that you'd like to add, um, because we are filling up spots. We have a few left, but I'd hate to have to say no if later in the year you tell me you'd like to add more days and I don't have room for your child. So consider that, and I appreciate everyone who's been really cautious and careful about sending their children to school when they're not feeling well and just being very careful with keeping them home if they have any symptoms. You all know what the COVID symptoms are. I'm not gonna go over that with you, but I just wanna thank you in advance as flu season approaches for being really careful with keeping sick children home. And again, I wanna thank you for sending your children here, and I'm gonna close us with a short prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you so much that these parents are taking this time to come and to listen to these uh, few words that I have for them. And I thank you so much for bringing them into this PVCA family, Lord. I just ask that you bless each family and we just pray that soon, Lord, you would find a way to eradicate this virus so that our lives can all go back to normal again. And we pray all these things in your name. Amen. Have a great night, everyone.